Hello everyone, welcome to the second episode of this uh, Tetris game programming. So, in the last episode, we'll leave it out here. And I think we're gonna create a variable for the size of each uh, square, in this case, for each color square. So, I'm gonna create private. I'm gonna make it final because a constant. Final int block size and it's going to be equal to 30. Okay, so now we're gonna create uh, like the plane area. So let's define the size. So we're gonna say private final int. Uh, this is bore uh, width, which is going to be equal to 10 and Okay, bore height it's equal to 20. Okay, so we're gonna define a matrix and we are going to do it with a two dimensional array, which is just an array of arrays. So let me show you what I'm talking about private int like this. You create 2D arrays, I'll call this bore equal to new int and we pass bore width and bore height so this initialize it at zero so I'm gonna draw some grids for I mean just for reference for, for the player you don't have I mean, I'm just gonna draw it just to show you how we are we gonna represent the the board. So I'm gonna delete this test code we can have here, and we're gonna make two for loops. Start with one i equal to zero i less than, and start with board height. So we're going to start drawing the horizontal lines like so and when you say g to draw a line okay and we're gonna the start point is going to be uh, x0 the y is going to be i multiplied by the block size and here it's going to be the width the no, the board width multiply by block size and we can lead it to I think I'm missing something no I multiply by block size draw it we got the horizontal lines let's draw the vertical lines so 4 j equals to 0 uh, j less than bore width j plus plus g dodge or line and here it's going to be j multiply block size we got zero here and this is going to be okay what is I mean the int j multiply by block size and here just bore height multiply by block size and there we have our grids our reference grids, that's how we're gonna represent the the plane area okay so let's move on to create the shapes I'm gonna leave it like this and I'm gonna create a shape class so go to your class, tetris, new class 
I'm going to call this shape finish okay so I'm going to set the constructor and I'm, I'm going to tell you how we're going to do this okay let me just center this on okay so the way we're going to create these shapes are going to be pretty much the same as the plane area we're going to make metrics and like this we're just going to locate a one where there there is a, a block there and a zero where is an empty uh, an empty block like this we got all the shapes we're just going to create a 2d arrays and we're going to represent the data like this i'm going to show you on right now what i'm talking about so the the shape is going to have a buffer image so it needs something to draw so buffer image i'm going to get this block and it's going to have a private uh, int and we we'll call this chord which stands for coordinate and i'm going to have a, a bar object just so we can have access to the plane area Okay, Control Shift O to import everything, and let's uh, initialize them in the constructor. Constructor. So start with the buffer image. Okay, so block uh, int cores and bore bore okay just like this this dot block equal to block this dot course equal to course this dot bore equal to bore okay in addition we'll have a render method and an update method so we can update and render and draw the shape so boy public boy update and public void render and the render method is going to take a graphics g object okay control shift o and we're ready to start creating them so let's go to the board class and down here i'm going to create an array this is just single array of shapes I'm going to call these shapes this is going to contain all the different shapes that we know in the Tetris game so new shape and if you may remember we have seven different shapes so oh, I missed this well I don't know why I did that okay so now let's initialize down here in the constructor of the board class so I'm going to shapes and let's start with the first so shape at the position of 0 it's going to be equal to new shape and we need to crop we need to crop uh, the, uh, the tiles this tiles PNG because if if I pass the block it will give me these seven squares and I just want the first one so we're just gonna crop or crop the image so in here we can just say blocks dot crop I mean gets image just not the term and we're not gonna get zero zero and block size here so block size and block size okay now let's create the matrix so new int okay and we can do it like this so we're gonna start with the long one which is uh, we're gonna start with this one with the red one 
so let's just do it like this pretty simple that is as simple as we draw create these shapes we're gonna pass the board just this to complete and we're gonna copy this for the rest of the shapes I'm gonna come in here this is the eye shape okay let's keep with the Z shape so the shape shape it's a uh, tree here we got a comma and like this we just make zero here one and one and we just zero here okay that we have the Z shape now for the okay this is just one here two let's keep with the S so the S is the opposite side pretty much the opposite side so I here zero here one zero okay this is not line here keep copying this for the third we're just gonna keep with the J and for the J we have I think it's one here zero you can have this reference image the J it's this one so one 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 like this one zero zero four one the L I think it's just the same just one here for a uh, we see it's fine the fifth uh, but I'm missing the T just like this okay and the last one is just the O so O here and this like this alright we're pretty much okay we need to we need to crop a different position so we got different color for example I'm gonna just say copy this here hit blocks here block multiply by 2 block multiply by 3 4 5 6 okay okay so now I'm going to create a private shape this is going to be the current shape we're uh, we're playing with so private shape I'll call this current shape and I'm gonna make it equal here uh, current shape equal to let's I don't know let's say shapes let's say we want to draw the T shape so it's gonna be five here okay and here I'm just gonna say current shape draw render and we pass G and we'll just go to the shape class and in the render method we're gonna draw it like this so four int row and equal zero row less than uh, we're gonna get the course dot link and just row plus plus now for int call for the columns equal zero call less than and we need to get the columns 
size which is going to be just course at the row dot length that's how we get the size of the of each array inside of the array so call plus plus oops and okay so first we need to ask where there is a one or not so if uh, course at row and at call it's not equal to zero okay if there is a one there we would say say g dot draw uh, image we pass block and for the x we choose the x is the call so call multiplied by the block size we don't have access to it yet so it's just gonna say 30 just hard code it for just now and here row multiply by 30 null okay when I run this there is our T shape so I'm gonna go to the board class and we're just gonna create a getter for the for the block size so get block size just quickly return block size and just change this for board.get block size and the same here uh, board.get block size okay so for example let's say I'd here I want to draw the long one the eye shape there it is you can check if they are working the S Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna leave this, this video here. We created the shape. I'm sorry if I go too slow. If I talk no same sometimes. Uh, in the next episode, we're gonna we're gonna move them and we're, and we're gonna rotate them. So thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.